You guys, there's an iguana right there. Welcome to Tulum. This is one of the most picturesque archaeological sites in Mexico built by the Mayans. It was built as one of their last cities and a major trading center. Today we're going to learn the history, explore the temples, and the magnificent beach. Let's go check it out. We are heading to the ruins of Tulum. We're walking through this kind of souvenir area to get there. Parque Nacional de Lumes. Okay. The Yucatan Peninsula is composed by three different states. The pink one that is right here near to the coast, Quintana Roo State, is where we are right now. That is the meaning of Tulum, city protected by walls. But that is not the original name of the place. The Mayas provide that name to the place in the 1845. Right here on the Yucatan Peninsula, we had a civil war. So the Mayas used to hide themselves inside of Tulum. So that's the reason why they provide that name to the place. But the original place of Tulum used to be San Ma. That means sunrise. And well, mm. the place used to have that name between the 11th century until the 16th century, when was that when the Mayas used to live around here Tulum and used to use this place as a pilgrim place for a commercial port. Okay. So when the Seiba tree started to growing up, create a three-dimensional world where the branches represent the supra world, the trunk represents the middle or terrenal world where we live, and the roots represents an underworld or the Shibalba. Okay, that's the name that the Mayas used to provide to the underworld, Shibalba. Very difficult to find water because we are made of limestone. So we are like a big sponge. So that's the reason why we are missing of rivers or lakes on the surface. All the fresh water is in underground rivers. In all the Yucatan Peninsula, we have around <coughs> 1,000 miles of underground rivers. So we are full of that, are like the veins inside of the Yucatan Peninsula. So when the Seiba tree finally found the water, catch it and keep it inside. Okay, wow. any questions so far? No? There's water in there? It's not exactly like a lot of water, but keeps water inside. Oh, wow. But please don't think that the Mayas used to take the water from here. Oh. Not because it's considered a sacred tree. Oh. It's an axis mundi, something that connects the three levels of the universe. So if you cut it, you cut the path of the gods oh, in the wow. universe. Okay. Exactly. So on these days, we continue protected the Seiba tree. So we are not allowed to cut it. If we cut it, we go to the jail. <laughs> Believe me. So the hotels and the buildings and everything around, if they found a Seiba tree, they have to wheeled around the tree wow. or just transplant the tree to oh. another place. Wow. But we are not allowed to cut it. Okay. What is it called? Like? The original wall used to have a size of around 15 and 18 feet. So I now we go through the walls and enter Tulum. We have reached Tulum. This is a famous Mayan pilgrimage site on the coast. The Mayas used to sacrifice the people when they need to ask big favors to all the civilization. One of the beaches in Tulum is a protected beach for sea turtles. So these right here used to be houses made of organic materials such as palm and wood. And this was also used as a trading center. They traded different materials such as obsidian. They had no gold here, but they also traded fish. So this was built in the 12, 1200s at the end of the Mayan period. You can touch it if you want. Oh, oh it's really soft. It's like a Mayan rabbit. Oh my 
came from the tree? The Seba tree family, each two years on December, lose the leaves. On wow. January, blossom. And on February, produce a fruit, like this one, okay? And inside of the fruit is the cotton, oh okay? So they used to recollect it, and they used to bargain in a natural way. And each civilization used to produce the things that they need, like wow. sheets or clothes, okay? And well, this is the kind of cotton that the Mayas used to use. And well, about the precious stone that we was talking about, this is obsidian. It's one of the most precious stones for the Mayas. They this right is the here obsidian the that they used to treat here. But the Mayas didn't get the obsidian right here on the Yucatan Peninsula or in the Mayan Kingdom. Why? It's a volcanic stone. So this came from the center of the country right here on Mexico. So they used to bargain not only between the Mayas, also with another civilizations. So this served as an astronomical clock. It told them when the summer solstice was happening and it signaled a new cycle. And this tallest tower was called the Castillo. And then that little hole right there, it told all of their friends who were trading with them about how to enter to avoid the coral reef. And any of their enemies that entered another way got crashed by the coral reef. Tulum! Mexico! Our guide told us that these temples were painted the color red, which is a symbol of power and superiority. And you could identify the people based on colors. Red meaning superior, blue meaning lower class. So to construct the temples, they used limestone, which is prevalent in this region. And they also used stucco to bind it together. There's an iguana right there in the middle. That's the coast. This beach is so cool, but very touristed. The water's kind of cold. 60 degrees. The surf is mild today, so we could go in. Yay! because sometimes sometimes the surf is very rough and they don't let you swim in here so today nice calm water and up here there's iguanas everywhere Lime soup and fresh tortillas. 
she is. Look at how many people visit Cancun per year. It like grew exponentially over the last like five years. These are all of the places that fly to Cancun. Very international. We flew nonstop from LAX. We hope that you enjoyed this tour of Tulum. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos.